Hey guys, today I have some backstroke progression drills to help your head position and rotation. With backstroke being my worst stroke, I definitely have a lot of things to work on, but one of my main issues is that I shift my head from side to side as I rotate. I also over rotate a little, which can make it harder for me to keep my head still. All of these drills are done with your head laying on a pole buoy, which is actually really comfortable. Since my dad came up with this drill and I haven't tried it before, I wanted to try these drills with three different sizes of pole buoys, but you don't need all three. I also wore my arena power fins while I learned these drills because they helped stabilize me a little better, but I eventually took them off. I would recommend all levels starting with fins and then you can choose to take them off based on how comfortable you feel. Place the buoy behind your head by the base of your neck, then make sure you keep your body flat. Otherwise, if your head is leaning too far back, it will cause your back to arch, and as you can see, my feet are pointing down. Also, if you dip your chin too much, it will cause the buoy to flip up behind your head. As you can see, mine is not flipping out, but that's only because it got caught on my hair, but I promise, if it hadn't gotten caught, it would have flipped out. Now on to the drill itself. The first drill is a modification of double arm backstroke. By modification, I mean that you're not going to bring your arms straight out of the water, but instead keep your hands and maybe some of your forearms out. The reason for this is if you bring your arms straight up, it can cause you to sink a little. Straighten your arms out above your head and bend your elbows into a strong pull with both arms. A good thing with this drill is if you're entering at the right spot above your head, the side of your arms should touch the buoy a little. So if you typically cross the center above your head, your arms will land on top of the buoy. Or if you're entering too wide, you won't hit the buoy at all. The next drill is one arm backstroke. Do this drill as regular one arm backstroke, but make sure your body stays straight and the buoy doesn't pop out. Enter your hand above your head, then bend your elbow into a strong pull down. This drill is great for focusing on one arm at a time, so do a few lengths with the same arm until it feels good and you don't lose the buoy. The final drill is what I like to call broken backstroke. It's basically a mix of one arm and regular backstroke because you're alternating arms but pausing after each pull. The reason for this is if you do regular backstroke, you'll hit the buoy too often and it will pop out. The key to this drill is doing controlled pulls, working on keeping your head still and body level with your hand entering at the correct spot above your head. Remember to bend your elbow for an early catch and don't over rotate. I found when doing these drills that I prefer the biggest buoy, which is the adult finish pull buoy. The more buoyancy definitely makes it harder to keep the buoy under your head, especially when you take the fins off. Some people will think that this is the same thing as just putting a cup of water on your forehead, but I prefer these drills since it has the added benefit of helping you make sure you enter above your head at the correct spot. After working on these drills, I tried backstroke again and it felt amazing. It was so much easier to keep my head still since I wasn't over rotating and my pull felt a lot stronger. Let me know in the comments below how these drills help your backstroke. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Bye!